Yep, they get about to head out. Just making sure I have everything I need. Jacket on, almost forgot. I need this. Yeah, exactly. Because it's always cold when I get off. But yeah, I'm about to get up out of here, baby. Alright. Alright. Love you. Love you, baby. See you when you get home. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Asia here with Pretty and Personal. And in today's video, I thought I'd switch it up, do something a little bit different. It's been a while, a couple months I think, since I've taken you guys to work with me. So I thought I'd take you guys to work with me, show you what has changed, what's still running, how the airport is operating, um, in my view as a gate agent. So if you're interested in seeing how the airline industry is uh, running right now, keep watching. All right, so I am in my car right now. I'm parking the employee parking lot and I'm just going to show you guys what I bring with me on a day to day basis. 99% of the time, this is my actual setup. There are times when I just bring my purse and call it a day on days where I know it's going to be super quick or if I know I'm in um, late out early, um, things like that. But on a typical day for me, this is what I have with me. So first you can see on my lap, I just have a lunch bag here. And it is pretty cool like it's it's cool i keep my snacks i keep my drinks my lunch in here um and i choose to pack a lunch because eating at the airport is ridiculous it, it can add up water i have more water in my backpack that i'm getting ready to show you guys but make sure you have water you're gonna need it you're steady 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 talking to people all day long you're answering phones you're walking Sometimes you're moving quickly, you're lifting bags, things like that. So you're gonna need water. So make sure you have water. All right, it's kind of heavy. Here is my backpack. So this is my backpack that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. And I like this backpack because it has a bunch of pockets and I paid like less than $15. I think it was $12 for this bag at Ross. So just something I can grab, throw my stuff in because I carry a lot of stuff. Um, so, um, this so look at this little cute little lip balm isn't that cute but anyways let me get started it was just sitting on my seat and throw it in my bag in this first pocket i have a key holder and it just has my rings that i use or not my rings my keys that i use on a daily basis for the operation also in here are a couple of chargers and corded headphones now you might be asking yourself why do i have corded headphones we do have um trainings that come up and I have to sometimes be able to hear the training so I need to be able to plug my headphones into the computer itself and listen to those trainings so that is why I have corded headphones okay um in this pocket here I have my safety vest you need a safety vest anytime you're outside or where there are moving vehicles so I have that so this, this pocket right here is really convenient because you can pretty much open it almost to the bottom and it folds it down. So just some body spray. I body spray twice actually. Both this body ecology body spray is from Walmart. This is from Bath and Body Works. And then I have some body lotion. This. As a gate agent, um, I highly, highly, highly recommend having something that's small that you can carry with you because I cannot take my backpack everywhere. So I have this wallet that I got earlier this year, it has a chain on it and it's literally just a wallet. So it has all of my things inside of it and it snaps closed really compact. And if I need to go, I can just throw it on. All right, so here I have feminine products inside of this pouch and another charger. I also have a pair of sunglasses because sometimes you're moving the jet bridge and the sun is like high or um, not high. Yeah, sometimes the sun is high in the sky or sometimes it might be setting and the sun is just hitting you right in the face. And you wanna be able to safely move the jet bridge so that you're not causing damage to the bridge itself, to the aircraft or to any people on the ground. So I have this safety, um, <laughs> the car threw me off in the background. I have these glasses um, in case I need them. I don't use them all the time, but just in case I need them into this big pouch in the back I have my planner that I take with me everywhere I have oh a spare pair of shoes I don't need those today those were when I wore heels the other day I guess <laughs> um, and then back here I have a bunch of stuff 
I'm not gonna show you the front of the folder, but I have like training folders, stuff that needs to be signed by um, agents because I am a supervisor, I am a guest service agent, I am a gate agent, I am a ticket counter agent, I am a supervisor um, here in Denver. I actually am certified and qualified to do every job that is here in Denver. So trainer, baggage, operations, gate, ticket counter, like whatever, you name it, I can do it. <laughs> Um, and then I also have more water inside of this bag pouch. All right, lastly, I have this beauty here. So she clips onto my handle here. And it's just something that I used to use when I was a flight attendant on my bag. And I would hook my lunch bag onto it or my travel bag. And it hooks on. And then instead of carrying two bags, when I pick my backpack up, imagine this being on my back. It's all in one without me having to carry separate bags. All right. We're getting to the last of it and then I'm about to get out because I gotta be getting ready to go catch the shuttle here in just a second. So the last or one of the last things I have is just my iPad here because like today is Wednesday, Sisters comes on, that's my show, that's my jam. So on my lunch break, I will be watching my show. Um, have a face mask here. Um, I do as a supervisor, I am required to wear a company issued face mask. So I have my company issued face mask or have to wear an all black medical mask. Got my mask, check. And my headphones, they're currently charging right now. These are actually my husband's headphones. <laughs> I stole them because I can't find mine. I don't know what I've done with it. I'm sure it's somewhere in my backpack or in my purse, but in the meantime, I need my wireless headphones. So I have my headphones. So I'll go ahead and take my charger now, put them there. The final thing that I need to be able to work today, turn this around so you don't see the front of it. The final thing I need to be able to work today is my lanyard. So I do have to wear a company issued lanyard. Um, and then I have my lanyard is like a wallet kind of thing. So it has a pocket here and I have reminders about my safety card, um, inspectors, things like that. And then I have a couple pockets here if I ever wanna hold like a credit card or anything like that in there. And hand sanitizer. All right. Oh, one more thing. I'm sorry, I completely forgot about this until I put my lanyard on. These are my earplugs. These are super important. These are gonna help you in the long run. So um, I work around the planes a ton. Obviously I'm a gate agent, tick counter agent, baggage offices, baggage office agent, operations agent, whatever you wanna call me. At the end of the day, I'm everywhere around this operation throughout the day. So I have my earplugs that I can just literally put around my neck. And then when I am by the plane, I just go ahead and pop them into my ear and it's super muffled. <laughs> so that'll help me just from those loud noises when I am on the tarmac to avoid like hearing loss or damage over time. All right, so now that I've showed you guys what I have in my bag, I just parked in a closer spot to the building so that I can get in the shuttle and I'm just watching down the street for the shuttle pull up so I can get out. Um, but for today's video, my plan is to just take you guys along with me and show you what I do in a normal day and just kind of film as I go. I'm gonna try to pull my camera out as much as I can um, with the exception of like obviously making sure that I'm being timely and being focused on work at the same time. So I'm gonna try my hardest to show you guys <laughs> like everything that's happening. But if I don't get to show you, I'll have to just come back and tell you. <laughs> With that being said, <laughs> I do not plan on, like, if I say something, I'm just going to have to keep it running. I'm not going to cut it out the video. We're just going to have to keep it running because I want to show you guys, like, the real and raw. So I hope that I can make it, like, personable without having to, like, edit and cut and do so much. I'm just going to take you guys along with me and record, and I hope that you guys enjoy the content. I'm making my way into the building, but you got a mask up to come in the building. So I keep extra mask in my car too, but you do have to have a mask on in order to come into the building to get on the bus. There's my bus, Seacon. I work on the Seacon course. It's pretty loud on here, but I just got on the Seacon course bus and I'm kind of regretting it because I can't remember if I park the golf cart on Seacon course or if it's at the main terminal. So. Fingers crossed, I parked it on the sea concourse. Sea 
Can you print me a daily schedule? Daily schedule? Yeah. This one? Yeah. We're on two flights tonight, right? Yeah. This is the gate area, in case you didn't see it on the last video. This is it. Alright, so the golf cart is not here on sea concourse, which means that it must be on the main terminal, which actually worked out for me because I have to go back to the ticket counter because we had a bunch of call outs and um, now I have to actually be in the operations day and fill in. So I will be able to show you guys the ticket counter operation. Um, since you guys seen the gate operation last time, it'll be a different look. So I'm at the counter, logged in, everything, looking at the flight mode. Our first flight has 69 guests on it. It's a 320, so it has 182 seats. So that's a fairly light load. Just gonna make sure everybody has seat assignments. And then our next flight that leaves at 11.59 p.m. is a 321 with 228 seats, and that's about 220. We would consider that a full flight. So I'm just gonna go in and for the people who are checking, I'm gonna start assigning seats for those. Yes, if they don't already have seats. Hi, how are you? Good. Go ahead and put your bag on the scale, please. Thank you. May I borrow your ID as well, please? Are you guys traveling together? Okay, I'll need both IDs as well. Yeah, I need both IDs, so. Thank you. I'm going to buy you both yeah, yeah. Thank you. Your ID and then let me see your boarding pass. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Are there any dangerous goods, firearms, relatives, batteries, or explosives inside of your bag? What is your final destination? Houston, Texas? Okay. And just the one bag that we're checking in today? Okay. And I'm just going to make sure all of your information in the system is correct. Make sure date of birth, everything like that is right so that you don't get stopped by security. That's why I look at both of them, okay? Because otherwise they'll send you back and then you got to wait in line again. All right. For both of those for you guys, you're all set. Fine. Okay. Are you guys familiar with the airport? You know how to get to the gate? Um, the closest security, if you make a left at that window, and then you'll... Come, once you get the left, you'll see security downstairs. That's the closest security. Mm -hmm. And we start boarding in 30 minutes, okay? okay. All right, we all set. Have a great flight. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm leaving the sick counter and I'm heading back to the gate. This is what I do. First, I gotta go back inside because I left my key and I just realized I didn't grab the spare key. So, grab the spare key to the golf cart, then head to the counter. That's the me. Down there on the level three, here's the golf cart that I'll be driving to the gate. I just pulled up here at the gate and the plane is pulling in. There's the marshaler. Two new walkers. Right now we're doing a cruise swap on the plane. Look how dirty the plane is. Filthy. I've seen it's a plane. Plane is a little messy. Alright guys. Ops bag room. Go for ops. Are there two bags for Houston and the ops office there? Stand by. <laughs> I was going to say I'll film later because nothing is really happening right now. Our flight later tonight to Fort Lauderdale with all those international connections has a lot more going on. So we're going to pause the video right here and pick back up. My operations agent is on the plane cleaning. So I'm going to go down to operations right now, check to see if there's two bags there for the bag room. 
that's calling for them. which is the baggage service office to make sure they're not there and if they are I'll bring them down to the plane so now I just checked the BSO the bags are not there they're not on our bag room they're not on the ramp for our operation so now I have to go into investigation mode and I have to start looking up the bags and figuring out where they were last scanned etc so we can figure out if these bags are already in the final destination and it just hasn't been updated on our side or if the bag is somewhere here in denver we need to figure out where they're at so we can get them to their station asap so i think i figured out where the bags are so i'm going to call the bag room bag room copy Go ahead. I was able to locate the bags. The guests were rebooked from yesterday. They missed the flight. The bags are in Houston already. Okay, so we've got all the bags. In. Otherwise, you're clear. We got all the bags. Yep, you're clear. Correct. You're all good. I'm on my way up to help with that. Get the planes in and out. Copy that. See you then. I moved the bags from the system, so that should update in about 30 seconds for you guys as well. Copy that. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Later on in the evening, I am heading upstairs to the ticket counter. I just parked the golf cart um, in the back. And I think what I'm gonna do is just set this um, camera up at my station and just like let it ride and just take a couple customers wide. Like when I say live, like obviously not live live. I just take a couple of uh, passengers in real time and let you just see the ticket counter video. Oh, all these over five items, two car seats, dinner, bags. I have all these oversized items and the oversized grab belt is jammed. So I'm sitting outside waiting for them to fix it. So I can send these items down the oversized belt. Next guest, please. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, how can I help you guys today? Uh, we're just checking in. Let's see, one more time, Sorry. buddy. No, that's okay, I just need your ID, please. All right, okay, Thank you. Right. Are there any dangerous guns, firearms, spare lithium batteries? Nope. Lithium ion batteries, excuse me, inside of the luggage? We have two bags of one. Okay. Okay, perfect. And it looks like we're heading to St. Croix, is that correct? Oh, take me with you. <laughs> yes, yes, I can fit in there, I promise. <laughs> All right, give me just one second to review your travel requirements for St. Croix, okay? Okay, have you completed the online uh, declaration? Perfect, may I please see that? Have you screenshot it or did you print it out? It's like, uh, it comes from U.S. Visit Travel, uh, St. Croix, oh, not St. Croix. Okay. Yes, perfect. Screenshot that so you have on your phone as well, okay? Perfect. I'm just looking for that green on there as well. Awesome, thank you. Just hold it. The, you know, we have the, the, the QR for none of the ones that uh, give them the option to get tested, uh, the clinic, okay? 
I saw oh. you the other day. Hey, what is this? I had some right here. Here it is. I say I know I have yeah, some. The it's closed though right now. Yeah, it's closed. It's open to the morning. Okay, sorry about that. Have y'all uh, taken a COVID-19 test at all? Yep. May I please see your results from your COVID-19 test as well, please? Woo, honey. You see me with the glasses on. <laughs> Perfect. And then can you just go up so I can see your name on that, please? Okay, it has it on this page, but it has it on this page. That's fine. I just have to match it up. Awesome. Thank you so much. Do me a favor and please use your paper passes. If you don't, they may ask you to produce all of your information okay. each time you get on the plane. So, <laughs> just had to save yourself a little bit of trouble, right? Of course. And there's also notes in the system of what you have showed me. Here's that for you. Of course, your bag will meet you in St. Croix. You do not need to get it in Fort Lauderdale. You're all set. Have a great time, okay? Thank you so much. Of course. All right, it's starting to pick up now. Next uh, guest, please. He's trying to play out, but the other guy told him he cannot play out. I'm sorry? So he's, I'm sorry, I'm just helping out. I, um, I did, he's trying to check in, but it's saying his reservation is not found. His reservation is not found. Where is he trying to go? To, from Denver to Fort Lauderdale. And here's his company. Okay, give me just one second to see if I can pull this up, okay? okay. Thank you. So the, the reservation number you gave me, he created two reservations. So our system automatically refunded one of them, which is the one you just gave me. Yo, the supervisor was just arguing with another guest. The other supervisor that's here was arguing. Next backdrop, please. How are you? All right. May I please have your boarding pass and ID? Okay, thank you. Where are you heading today? Well, Lauderdale, is that your final destination? Boston. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right. So, it's pretty loud out here. You hear that engine? This plane here is going to sit overnight, leave out in the morning. If you look up there in the top corner, you see there's a plane sitting over there waiting. It's gonna pull into that gate. It can't pull in yet because another plane just pushed out of the gate and it's right there. So as soon as that plane leaves this area, the other plane can pull in and we are done. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. Harden the noise in the background. I'm trying to talk loud so you can still hear me. Uh, today's video was a little bit all over the place, so I apologize about that. With the call outs, they had me everywhere. But as a supervisor, that's what you do. You jump in and you fill in where it's needed. So, you know, that's how it went today. Um, and uh, hopefully next week I can get a different video out that's a little bit more organized and not so uh, all over the place. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And uh, thank you for watching.